You know when it's hot outside and you just want a cold beer, some fresh guacamole, and some tacos? How about a meatloaf? Meatloaf? Absolutely a meatloaf. Meatloaf's one of those food items that's kind of like a blank canvas, so depending on what ingredients you utilize, that's kind of the cuisine that you're going to get out of it. So with that said, why not a Mexican meatloaf? Mexican meatloaf, I like it. Yeah. So today on Between the Eats, we're rethinking Mexican. So how do we start? Well, it's a meatloaf, so we're going to start just like you would any meatloaf. And then where it changes up is the different ingredients that we're going to utilize. So every meatloaf starts with the meat. This meatloaf, we have pork and beef. And we went to our butcher, got a little pork and beef. We're going to do half pound of each. So you can get that in the bowl. Awesome. So chili peppers is where we're starting with some of the different uh, ingredients we were talking about. This would be a roasted poblano pepper. We have a jalapeno for a little heat and an Anaheim pepper. And the reason we're using these is Mexican food has a lot of complexity and using different chilies you kind of get that complexity. And they look already roasted. You already roasted them? Absolutely. Flame roasted peppers. And we just took the skin off after we roasted them and now we're just going to cut them up for the meatloaf. Awesome. Well, while I'm doing this, yeah. you can start building the meatloaf. Sure. So explain this oatmeal to me. I like to utilize oatmeal because it's a little healthier. Um, it helps hold the meatloaf together and it keeps the moisture in the meatloaf. Black beans. Black beans. There you go. Some cilantro maybe? Absolutely. Mm. Cumin chili pepper? That is absolutely cumin and chili pepper. And some eggs to hold it all together. That's right. Perfect binder. Once I get these all chopped up, I'm going to saute them off in a pan with some onion. And the reason I'm doing that is it'll pull out some of the moisture from the vegetables, such as the raw onion, and it'll do a little bit more of a uh, depth of flavor to the meatloaf. So I'll tell you those up, what are you doing for us today? I am going to make Riviera Maya guacamole, and we want to make sure we get the ripe avocados, so a little dark and smushy. These ones are like too green and they're hard, so it's not good for when you scoop it out to mash it all together. Okay. So I'm just going to get some avocado in the bowl. Look how beautiful. Scoop it into the bowl. So we want to scoop all the avocado in first. Now where'd you say you got this recipe at? In Mexico. I was in the Mayan Riviera. Right. We also want to do um, really fresh ripe tomatoes. I uh, really like the vine ripe tomatoes. Absolutely. Sometimes. What can I help you with? You want me to cut up? Yeah, why don't you cut some tomatoes? Or you can cut some tomatoes for me. Sure. Whatever you think. Absolutely. One jalapeno, otherwise it kind of can get a little hot. Okay. Um, also, we're going to um, squeeze some lemon in. So I'm going to start with that. Um, you can do, you know, a couple, le three, four lemons, whatever you feel comfortable with. Squeeze in the lemon. So what are you doing lemon? I know a lot of people think lime when they, when they think guacamole. That's exactly what I thought. And then when I'm there working with these chefs, they said, no, it's actually lemon. So, <laughs> hey, I'm going to take it from them. They're at the resort in Mexico. Absolutely. So they must know what they're talking about. So I'm going to squeeze it in. I don't think it matters if you would use like a lemon juice too if you didn't have fresh lemons. How many tomatoes do you like? Oh, how about like four? four you tomatoes. know, four or so. Okay. Um, I have some chopped onion. Oh, I have some chopped onion here. Now, I'm keeping these a little bit, you like a chunkier tomato, I right? do. I love to get that, you know, pico kind of taste. Um, with the chunky tomato, and sometimes it's diced really, really small, but I like to get a bite with the avocado and have it be really good. Let's mix this. Um, I leave the pits in because sometimes the avocado won't turn brown because you know how it browns up right away. So you're just folding so it in. So we're gonna throw those in. Um, also, we're gonna add a little bit of beer and taste it. Beer, so really? Add, What's the beer do for? I'm gonna us? add a little bit now. Um, you know, just the taste. Today we have Corona. Last time I made it, I used Dos Equis, so okay. you can use, you know, basically whatever beer, but they said it also keeps it from turning brown, okay. which is great. And that know. would be the acidity in the beer. Absolutely. Okay, let's get these in here. Tomatoes, our jalapeno. Yeah, a little cilantro. Yeah, go ahead, throw that in there, David. You mind? Not Thank at you. all. We're gonna taste test it, because this is when you know whether to add more beer or... Do you want some avocado with your tomato? I like when it's like chunky. Okay. Yeah, this is this is how they do it in the Riviera Maya. Believe me. Well, you done I'm over ready. there? Absolutely. All right, we're gonna finish up this meatloaf. Of 
course we have to mix this by hand. Absolutely, it's meatloaf. And uh, while you're doing that, I'm actually going to get the next surprise uh, together for this meatloaf. It's going to be oh. a bacon wrapped meatloaf. Sounds awesome. Yeah, and we're going to do it in a, a fun way. Um, actually stretching this bacon out onto the foil. Okay. And we're going to wrap the, the meatloaf in the middle of the bacon and roll it up in the foil and bake it inside so that it's actually going to be completely wrapped around the entire meatloaf. Oh, wow. Drop that down. Stretch it out. And just start rolling this over. It's very fancy. Fancy? You like that, huh? And we just come back around. And you kind of just want to make sure you wrap it nice and tight. Okay. So it holds its shape. And then, this is going into a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. And then you're going to back the, the temperature down to 325 and cook it for an additional 40, about 40 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Like an hour? Yeah. An hour total cook time on it. I just like putting an extra piece of foil around it just to kind of help hold some of the juices in. One final step. That was a fast 45 Smells minutes. Smells like bacon. Yes, it is. All right, what are you doing? All right, so we're going to do one final step okay. of glaze to go on top of the meatloaf. Awesome. What is so it? We have in here, obviously, ketchup. Right? Okay. Ketchup, it has to be meatloaf in the end. We also have apricot jam. And then what I have here are chipotle peppers. Mm, are they hot? Uh, they're a little spicy. Awesome. It's a uh, jalapeno pepper that is smoked. Awesome. And then kind of cured in a sauce called adobo sauce. So we're going to use both the pepper and a little bit of that adobo sauce into our place. Perfect. One more step to go and then it's ready to eat. We're just going to... I can't wait to try it. Pop it back in the oven for like five, ten minutes just till the glaze cooks on for the meal. Looks amazing. Now do you close this back up again? Absolutely not. No. Perfect. I'm going to get a nice sticky uh, glaze on top of the meal. Perfect. Yeah, here I am. Oh, it looks so good. Absolutely. So I'm this starving. Is a, this is a different way um, when you're having a dinner party. You can do plating. You don't have to do like your traditional thing. Just find a board. It's a rustic meal. Just throw it all on there and put it out for everybody. Oh, wow. It looks amazing. So here we have your guacamole. We have some homemade tortilla chips. Homemade, Absolutely. Huh? And if you go to our website, we'll explain how to make those. Of course, our Mexican Baja meatloaf, bacon wrapped meatloaf. And we have some sweet potatoes here. It is actually an orange lime cilantro sweet potato. Mmm. Mm. Good guac. So good. So mm. good. I'm getting that with the chip. <laughs> don't forget to visit BetweenTheEatsTV.com and also don't forget to subscribe.